Hello, today we're going to make a Dublin handshake. That ought to get me proper drunk. So not long ago, I did a video, I made the Alabama Slimmer, which is alright, but it had uh, slow gin, which I never had a need for before, so I bought slow gin for the Alabama Slimmer, and now I gotta find more drinks so I can drink more slow gin to get rid of the bottle. I'm running out of space. I gotta get rid of bottles here, so we're gonna make today a Dublin hand Handshake, and it has slow gin, and then it has the uh, Irish whiskey and Irish cream. It's going to be one part of the Irish whiskey, one part of the Irish cream to one and a half parts slow gin. That's the uh, traditional recipe for the Dublin handshake. So let's make that. Start with our whiskey. I like Jameson's, the Irish whiskey I know, and stick to what you know, I guess. There's an ounce. Goes Bailey's Irish Cream, an ounce of that. And then the slow gin is an ounce and a half. So we're going to do an ounce in here. And slow gin to me kind of tastes like a cherry cough syrup. The other half ounce just to make it a little accurate there. Measure out exactly half an ounce. So we have an ounce and a half total. Alright, we're going to shake that in ice. strain that over ice and I'm going to do it in a uh, whiskey glass. I've seen uh, some people do it in a cocktail glass but all right here's the, uh, the Dublin handshake here See, that's good. I don't know. It's, it's kind of odd to me that the most prevalent flavor immediately is the Bailey's Irish Cream. I taste that more than anything else. I don't really get a hint of cherry from the, uh, the slow gin. And I don't taste alcohol at all. I mean, if somebody gave this to me and said it was non-alcoholic, I'd believe them. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, mainly it just tastes like the chocolate from the um, from the Bailey's. I'm not getting much out of the slow gin, and uh, I don't taste much alcohol. So it's definitely going to need more alcohol for me. So let's now up it. We're going to go to three ounces of the uh, Jameson's. Make that the uh, main ingredient here. There's two. Throw in a third. Three ounces of Irish whiskey. Then we're just going to go with one ounce of each of the Baileys and the uh, slow gin, trying to make the whiskey the most prominent thing in there. Ounce of Baileys. Ounce of slow gin. Same deal. We're going to shake it with ice. Over ice. Put 
definitely filled my glass better. I mean, I'm using a bigger glass than a cocktail glass that the original called for, I guess. But, you know, it looks, looks more suitable. Still got the sweetness of the Baileys. I still taste a lot of Baileys. Which is interesting for one ounce. It's almost like this slow gin brings out more flavor from the Baileys. I don't know. I like it. You know, obviously there's more alcohol, so I'm going to like it better. But it's not a bad drink. The uh, the Dublin handshake here. Um, I don't know. Almost like because of the syrupy nature of the slow gin, it uh, holds air bubbles. So it's real frothy. Uh, so it feels kind of like a milkshake. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not something I'm going to make a regular for myself, but it's all right. I drink it again. Yeah, I mean, even with three ounces of whiskey in there, I'm not getting a lot of uh, you know alcohol flavor to the drink. It's okay. I'm gonna say it's just okay. But that's the uh, proper Dublin handshake, even though I don't taste alcohol there is alcohol in there so hopefully it'll give me proper drunk but we'll see how that goes if you like my video subscribe you can recommend what i should try in the future I'm always looking for for new things to try but other than that uh, thanks for watching and have a good day